Hey, what's going on? Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com and today I want to do the review on the Warwick 903G. All right, and I think you're really gonna like this gun. I have been spraying with this thing for a while now, painted multiple projects, including this gas tank, uh, base coat, clear coat, and let me go over some of the specs with you. And it's not too small, you know, it's, it's not a small gun, but it is a mini gun, and I think you're really, really gonna like it. So let me, let's get into the details on this thing in just a bit. So this spray gun is an awesome little spray gun. It's a side feed, like I said. Here we go, the 903G. Uh, we're looking at an operating pressure of 10 CFM at 29 PSI for the G model here. They also have an H model where it comes as a siphon feed, and I'll show you that in another review. You can get a 0 0.8, a 1.1, a 1.4, and a 1.8 size tip for the front here. All right, so if you're doing overall painting, a 1.4 is great. Uh, this, I have a 1.1, and it sprays amazing. You know, I've done regular base coat, clear coat with them. It's 0.66 pounds, very light, easy to use, and uh, you get the nickel-plated aluminum die-cast body, very shiny, easy to clean, as you can see. You know, you know, beautiful looking gun, and it, and it feels, you know, very high quality. All right, and um, let me see here. You can get the a, a 0 0.4 aluminum cup, 0 0.4 liter aluminum cup, which is what I have here. And it's nice because it's not too small, and it's not too big. It's a perfect size. And if we get into the 903 GH model, you get a, a 0.6 cup, which is a little bigger than this, and it basically, you know, goes at the bottom. It comes out the bottom of your neck here and you have it like a regular primer gun. But this is a great overall spray gun. I love it, it sprays fantastic. It has a six inch fan pattern and I think it's even more than that. It says six inch, but I think it even goes to an eight inch fan pattern here. I've been spraying a lot of motorcycles with this gun lately and you know, it sprays fantastic. It has a little stand here so if you're resting it on the table like this, Right, you can just put the stand on and it, it, it just stands on the table like that. You know, when you're painting, you could flip it back up like so. Um, if you could see the quality of the spray gun, it's a really nice spray gun. You got the 0.4 aluminum cup. So if you look at the top of the cup here, we have these little grips here so it's easy to take your cap on and off, right? You have your adjustment knobs on the back, fluid flow and fan. You got this little flippity doo da right here. So you could rest it on the table like so. And a uh, very high quality gun. I think you're really gonna like it. I've been spraying with this a lot. I've been painting a lot of little motorcycle bikes with this and gas tanks and so, and it sprays really, really nice. So check, check it out. You know, if you're looking to get a mini spray gun that does all around painting, perfect for motorcycles, um, doing door jams, going under projects, you know, if you gotta spray up into a hood or something, you can just basically tilt your cup and spray like that. Uh, it's, it's a really cool engineered little spray gun high quality, you know, it's not cheaply made like some of those other $40, $50 spray guns that you get out there. And it has a real high atomization rate. So when you're spraying, you get incredible flow. Let me just show you the gas tank that I just painted with this. So here is a Harley Davidson gas tank that I just painted with this thing. And I, I didn't buff it or anything. And it just flowed out amazing. Came out really, really nice and um, get one, you know, I think you're really gonna like it. Check it out at the store at learnautobodyandpaint.com forward slash shop and uh, get yourself one. You will be impressed. Talk to you soon and have a great day. And this is how you could lay it on the table when you're in between painting, waiting for your flash time. You just set it on the table like this. You have this little stand here, you see? Boom, and you're good to go. You know, you could tilt it however you want, but that's basically how it works. You could refill your cup, open this up, put your paint in, close it up. Of course you want to strain your paint, right? And, uh, and that's how it works.